Hey everyone, this is Tina with Tina's Inspired Art. Welcome to my channel today. We are going to be doing something completely different than what you have normally been seeing on my channel. Uh, I've been working on this project and trying to design it in my mind for quite some time. And I've decided to take the plunge and go for it. <clears throat> So let me help you understand what we're going to be working on today. So first of all, the tools that I'm using to help me with this initially are my leveling tool, my tape measure, and my pencil right now, and my little brain. <laughs> so first of all, I wanted to make sure that my canvas that I'm working on. These are two wooden panels um, that I'm using as my canvas. So they're both wood, wood framed, um, real nice and sturdy. A little on the heavier side, but I wanted it to be very um, sturdy for what I'm gonna do on my canvas. I wanted to make sure it was level. So it is level in every direction that's on my table. The size of these canvases is 24 by 36. And my design is gonna be laid out in this fashion across both of my panels. So that, is all laid out for me right now. I have penciled in, I've drawn out my design on the canvas. Um, it, looks, it looks very um, organic. It looks very similar to my designs that I've done with my fluid art paintings, which I am going to do, but in a different way. I'm going to <clears throat> layer my paints as usual, but I'm actually going to not flood both of these canvases with my interior paint. Initially, <clears throat> I am going to take my glue gun, which is heating up right now. Um, got some glue dripping, um, but I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm going to outline my pencil marks that's on this wood canvas. So when I do put my paint down, I want it to be contained within that design. And so the outer negative space is going to be painted at a later time after I do my design on these wooden canvases. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'll get my panel all outlined with my glue gun and then we'll take this another step forward. So you can watch this process. I'm going to take it slow at the beginning and then I'll probably speed it up um, and not have to show you the the entire process of outlining, but just so you can see how I'm doing it initially. And then we'll get into doing this. I'm excited about this one. I'm hoping that it's going to really develop a new way of doing this process and contain your design um, and still I will be able to incorporate my signature style within this design. So I just wanna take it to that next level, see if we can do it. And I wanted to share it with you as I'm learning through this process. Very first time I'm gonna be doing this. So wish me luck, it's huge canvas, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this process with you. Stay tuned guys. All right, let's, um, I'm just gonna start writing this area here and then start outlining. I've got my pencil marks. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I've got all my pencil marks where I'm gonna just follow the lines with my glue gun. See how this works. I'm just gonna drag it over. I don't have to stop and reload where I'm dragging it. 
I do want it to be fairly thick. This will take a while. I'm actually liking keeping the stand down and it makes a funny noise, but it's helping me actually guide along this so it's even, kind of a nice even layer. I see some gaps. I don't know why it's not exactly straight because I want it to feel organic in the sense that it's kind of wavy. Leaf like is the intention. If you don't get enough on, you just kind of back up and get some more on. And I did notice that if I didn't like a spot like where it was dripping to get hot, I noticed I could just, when it dries, you can just peel it right off. So no worries there if you didn't like how you outlined it. <laughs> I need to load some more glue, but so far I kind of like um, how I can actually create what I have in my mind, draw it out on here, and outline it and see if the paint is going to stay within the desired design. So that is my hope for doing this process this way, something just unique and different. these lines they'll either get covered by the paint or I'll even outline it depending on the colors that I choose and outline it all in black or outline it in um, just a, a color that's complementary to the colors that I'm going to select and at the moment I'm not sure exactly what colors I'm going to select for this design so that's going to be TBD um, as we get, go through this now the glue does harden very fast so if you want to like reshape it you just have to melt it and move it over or something just take your tip and just Put it right back on it and melt it. And you could take an exacto knife and cut off where you didn't like uh, the glue gun or the glue that dried. So I think I'm going to put, if you can even see it, yeah, I guess you can see it. I'm going to put this on fast forward and I'm going to do the entire design like this. Hey everyone, I'm back and I just wanted to show you that we've completed the design with the hot glue gun outlining everything. So we are going to begin the next process. I'll kind of zoom you in. I also wanted to share that these wood panels, I did go ahead and just prime them with a, with a coat of primer um, for this process so we wouldn't have any issues with warping or anything like that but I don't think I would have any issues anyways this is pretty pretty durable wood and it's all framed out so um, we shouldn't have any issues but there's the design it kind of looks like a nice abstract flower and now we're ready to begin the real fun part. I don't know what this is going to turn out like, but I think it's something that I've been wanting to explore. Something new and different. So stick with me and let's see what this turns out to be. All right, guys. So I just took you down for a close up of the overall design. It's fairly large, so it's really hard to fit in the full screen. But I wanted to go over my color palette for today. I'm going to go with greens. Um, my first color, I'm going to start off with the Liquitex Black, a Liquitex Silver, a Pebeo or actually it's an Arteza Glacier Light Blue, Liquitex Olive Green, um, Liquitex uh, Very Light Silver, it's almost a white, the Arteza Lime Green, and the Arteza Yellow Lime Green. So that's my color palette today. I am going to use the PPG House Interior Paint within these leaves that I've outlined. I'm going to do it just like a Dutch pour, 
with my base layer of being my house interior and then layer the other paints on top of that within each section that I have outlined with the glue gun. And I've actually put, so I could actually squeeze it on there and be a little bit more diligent to get it in these areas. I put it in my squeeze bottle, uh, a little messy, but we're, we're, we're good. Um, so we can kind of fill in those areas a little bit easier than pouring it out of the normal measuring cup that I use. So um, I think it'll just be a little bit easier on me if I do it that way. I'm gonna go kind of do it one section just to see what it looks like first. I'll just take one leaf, pour it like I'm gonna do it and outline it you know, or layer it with my paints. And I'm gonna start on this one right here and I'll just blow it out and see what it looks like. And if I like that, then I'm gonna go further uh, with the same process. So I just wanted to make sure that it will work first. Something else I did wanna share with you while we're going through this is when you're using your glue gun and you take it off the board itself, you have these long strings. So I wanted to make sure that those long stringy glue pieces were completely off my board. I went through diligently to make sure that there were any more strings left. I even took my blow dryer and just blew the whole area just to make sure nothing was hanging that just kind of stringy because I don't want to paint over those little strings. But I think we're good to go. I, I really like the design just like it is here. And so I'm hoping that it will really look good um, as we lay it out. And I'm going to layer the first three colors kind of just maybe halfway through the petals and then the greens going down further. So um, I'll have like a black, silver, light blue kind of right in here and then kind of blending it through the rest of the leaf. We'll try it. We'll try one leaf and see if it works. So wish me luck, guys. Okay, starting off with my first paint layer. I'm gonna just get that paint right up to where I had the glue gun or the glue from the glue gun. It's probably gonna you know, go over it a little bit, but that's okay. I just wanna make sure that it is right up against it and then I'll fill it in, in that area. But this, this process, hopefully this will make my life a lot easier by doing it this way. I just don't want the paint to like settle in yet before I get this process going. So I'll just put a bead around there like we're doing. It seems to be working good and then I'll fill it in. But this will help with getting the, in those corners and trying not to go over because I want to contain my design, which is the whole idea of doing it this way. And hopefully I've made the glue strip thick enough or tall enough so it can contain the paint. And I think the background for this kind of thought about it and thought about it. I think I'm going to make the background a, a light gray when we're all said and done with this. Kind of a nice neutral light gray. Ooh, has a lot of squeezing. All right, so hold on one second. I had to go run and get, I still wanted to use my paint so I can pour in the middle of it just a little bit at a time. So I think Doing the edges really helps to get it done like this. I have to watch for drips and watch for stuff in my painting, which I just saw a glob. I can get out. There's a really big glob. I 
paper towel right here so I can get that out. Oh, I did have a, a little thing right here I'd forgotten. All right. There's another one. I know why it's like that is uh, this is the end of the paint can. And I did see those going in there, but I knew I'd have to kind of dig it out. But that's okay, I got it. And then, let's see if I can use this spatula for a little bit. Move that around a little. And we'll see how this works. I'll contain it. is to have the other layer of paints kind of fill in the section so you don't I'm not left with a lot of white on these petals so hopefully I'll have to layer quite a bit of the layered paints to get it to fill in and blow it out where it fills it up Let's see if we can do it As you can see, I'm just kind of moving the paint around so that when I do layer, it has enough to flow and move in the areas where I need it to flow to. So far, it's working. The spatula is working good for this part. Almost went over the line. There's a book can in there. <laughs> and then I can use the squeeze bottle if I need to also. I wasn't sure how much paint I would need. And I'm probably going to squeeze a little bit more here. it quite nicely. Definitely stayed within the area that I wanted it to, which is so nice. Didn't think about this spatula. My room on my table has gotten less and less, so I need to take Sorry about that. I'm just going to take this and lay it right there since we're not working over there. Ooh, all right. So we've got that laid out. Now I'm going to go in with my layered paints. I'm going to start with, this is going to be tricky over here on this very little area, but if it blows over, then Then I will um, kind of clean it up, hopefully. Kind of doing it just like I would normally in my paintings. Hopefully that's far enough to reach. All right, so I like how that looks. Now I'm gonna go in with some silver. I see a little spot there, a little bubble. I will pop these bubbles too. See if I'm putting enough paint on here to really create this design. Now with 
the light blue. I'm only, I'm thinking I'm only gonna coat that in the middle portion of it. So I wanna see how that looks. I wanna cover that piece up real quick. All right. Let's see. Light blue. this all the way out there. See if that's far enough. I think so. Let's make sure we've got enough. Now I'm gonna go in almost overlapping it with this green, olive green. Oh, I hope this comes out good. <laughs> A little scary, but fun. If this is a little bit of that real light silver. almost looks white, but it's iridescent. This is the lime green. I'm trying to think if I should... Uh, I may bring some of the green back down that way. I just really want it to blend nicely. Yeah, some of this green. Oh, let me see. Should I, should I, should I? Yeah, maybe I will. Just bringing some of this blue up here. I need to really tie it in. I don't want it to look odd. Just tie it in. But the other colors I'll leave out like that. At least the blue will tie it in together. All right, well, I have a feeling the white is going to like splash over and go beyond the border. So we'll see what it looks like. Maybe it'll look okay.
as I look at this, I do think I need to carry that green back down through here um, a tad bit. So I do think I'm going to do that real quick. I just think it needs to have a little bit more tying it in. I think it'll be okay. Hope, hope this is the right decision. Just don't. I'll see if this work. All right, real quick, fix this up a little. This is, I think it's okay. And I think I can still do my signature style on it. Um, so let's put you on pause real quick. All right, so I'm going to just try my signature style on this piece, see what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna start right about here. Let me see if I can just kind of drag it down. I make a vein going all the way down to the end. It is my guide. We'll see if this works. Something different, guys. I like to do different. So far, I think it's working. see myself doing different colors like this as well. I just thought I'd use more kind of, um, I don't know, leaf-like colors, um, make it more natural looking for now, just to see what it would look like. I like the colors together. I like that, you know, I guess, designed the, the uh, created the design itself and then stayed within the design. I like how it's done that. A couple of areas where I'm going to fill in the white so it's got you know no breaks in where the glue is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, a first good try at what I see here. So depending on how this all looks, it may be that I do the whole background white so that way it blends in with the white that you're seeing coming through. So TBD on that, but we can go on from leaf to leaf. And I do like how it's blended with the blue here. So I think I am going to continue that with the blue, make it predominant in this area. Bring this to the edge. Yeah, so far so good guys. So on to the next. We are going to fill in this petal here and do this one. I am gonna just do one petal at a time because there's a lot of steps and I wanna make sure that we're capturing the steps that's necessary and um, not getting too far ahead to where the paint would settle on me. So just trying to be diligent about that. In a couple of these bubbles, I will take the um, embossing gun that I used to, to heat up and pop these bubbles. I'll take a swipe on that real quick. 
before we begin the next one. Yeah, I'm liking this process. I think it's gonna look really good. Super cool. Grab this little bit of paint right here. I don't like how it blew out. But so far, I think it's looking pretty good. It's gonna be a hard reach over there. I might have to go around the other side of the table, but um, I think it's looking good so far, guys. Okay. Now we're gonna go into this leaf right here. I like the process of um, outlining and then filling in with the remaining from the measuring cup. So I'm gonna do the same process. Now it might drip over the edge down the side, but I want these two to match, so I need to rem remember to continue that same way of blowing it so that they definitely match and get them left together. I'm gonna put you on fast forward for this piece of it, guys. Alright guys, I'm back and it's time to layer our paints. Alright, so I'm going to start with the black. I'm going to bring these lines here just so I have enough paint for color going outward to those areas. So it matches. I think I'm going to bring the blue kind of all the way through, but predominantly down in this area here. So I did change my mind a little bit, but I think we'll get the same result with me doing it this way. We might have to make, might have to make up some more blue for the other petals. Olive green. Put that in with the silver. And we'll go in with this lime green. Might have to go in with that light blue a little bit more down center. A little bit of this white. Then we'll top it off with this lime green. Some more of this blue. Just a little bit of color here. Oh, got the clog out and put my finger. Okay, that's better. Now it can come out a little bit easier. That way it'll kind of match the other one here. The blue kind of left the mess of it here. Won't match. All right, and let's see. Let's pop those bubbles real quick. Okay, pop the bubbles, and now we can begin to lay it out and hope for the best. Okay, I'm gonna have to blow this way so it's gonna be a little bit more awkward to get around. this work. It's gonna flow down the side for sure, but that's okay.
the blue to the center. signature style on it it will make it better so that's what we're gonna do next I'm going to see where's I think it's around the other side I need to get my little straw real quick I forgot about it let's throw that over here get this yeah I think it's looking pretty cool. I just need to blow out this area right here. That's good. Yeah, that worked out good. <laughs> Okay, now I think I can do the signature style. Watch my hair. That's better. Okay. Ooh, made me dizzy. on this one. We'll start right here. Bring my line down like so. And I'll make sure that it comes all the way down here. So when you put these together, they really go together. I'm gonna just paint the sides because it's hard to get in there when it's so big but I'll paint the sides probably just a black border at the end of this project hmm <laughs> where to begin it just looks natural the way it forms. And that's great. I can still do what I've been doing to incorporate my look and style that I have but yet introduce something different as well.
looks good. All right, on to the next one. All right, I went ahead and filled in this area here with the white paint just off camera, uh, just to speed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the black. Go in with silver. Let's see, olive green getting out of order. <laughs> Lime green. Whoops. Actually, I was supposed to be this one first. That's all right. Sometimes it matters in the layering of you know what colors go on what, but. I think this will be fine. Blow this one up real quick. Should be the easy one. It's actually a little difficult because of the angle. I'm going to come around here with my cords and angle it this way. But then I got a long cord. All right. Well, the rest of that with a strap, make it a little easier so it doesn't go over too, too much out of the design I want. This real quick, Let's see if I can reach it. There's a problem, hmm. hard to reach. I do have a step stool on this side too, but let's try it without it. I think that's good. Yeah, looks good. It helps I can lean over the table, this isn't wet over here, it really helps. I think that will work just fine.
Mm. This one may have had a little bit too much paint, but let me try to make it work. Almost creeping over the edge, but it's okay. We'll just let it creep over a little more and let it work its way in there. I think that's fine. Just a little leaf coming out. Now, what should we do next? All right, guys, I went ahead and layered my paints um, since I think we've gotten the hang of how I'm doing that piece of it. I'll pop just a couple more bubbles. So far, I think she's looking really pretty. this side of it and go out this way. for staying in within the lines. It's like coloring within your lines. <laughs> I'm gonna modify it just a tad bit. Oh, I think it needs some help with a little bit of air. It's right here. Okay. out of my way. I think that looks pretty 
good. Pretty good. Now, look at these. They're looking pretty good. I think the composition is going to look really nice. Yes, sirree. Now I'm going to do the signature style on this piece. through my paint or on the canvas. There we go. That's a better. All right. There's some of the paint that did go over the lines. Maybe I can fix that. working out. Still trying to figure out what background I want to paint this. But yeah, I think maybe white a white background. Black would look really good also. Um, so still trying to figure that one out. I'm going to clean up the edges where they are kind of going over a bit and how I'm doing that is, oh, I actually had it in my hand. I'm going to take the paintbrush side of it and just kind of scoop it up with that and wipe it off. It's kind of working out really good like that. Just to scoop it up. And in some places it's okay if it went over. I just, I am trying to stay with the design for the most part. Um, but And that'll be easier for me to paint the outline of each petal later on as well. There's a, quite a bit over here that I want to get, get cleaned up because this area, I do want these petals to be defined and not kind of connected. So 
I'm just grabbing it and pulling it out of there. Seems to be working. And I'll just paint over that area with a small paintbrush. So this project will definitely take me a lot longer. But I think the outcome is going to be pretty unique and different. And hopefully it'll be beautiful. Should have fast forward through this part of it. Sorry about that. Tissue. Oh, looking pretty cool. to make it flow. That's better. Yes, 
that's looking pretty good. to this side of the board. So far, I'm going to take you down for a closer look at what we have so far, okay? So, here we are at a closer look. Okay, a little bit more to go, guys. Stick with me. We'll see what this will look like at the very end. All right, we come around this side. There's one smaller hole over here quickly, and then we'll move on to the last three petals. I'll have to say that the process of using these squeeze bottles has been, I mean, uh, it has made this part of it a lot easier. Because originally I thought, well, we're just going to do it just like I do regular Dutch pour, using it right out of the container and um, using, you know, the measuring cup. But this really has made it a lot easier. Squeeze as wherever you want. And so, I'll just smooth it out with my spatula just a tad bit. Just like the perfect amount. Alright. I think everything pays to be a little organized with this process. Okay, now in with the black. I'm going to try not to make up some more of this blue because it's definitely not going to be enough. I need that blue up for this one. And some silver. It's like a little space for watercolors. Try to be careful about it. I messed up that white. It was, it was just too much. I don't really like white. I don't think it's adding that much to it. Okay, let's see something will come out here. I just happen to see something in there. I didn't like it. That's right. A little fluffy area right there, but it's from the glue gun. Or the glue that's there. Alright, I will look. Back this one to go. Yeah, that water bump. We did have some over going over under there, but I think it should be fine. Now going to get my blow dryer over here. Oh, that's cool. Man, this is a massive piece with this kind of process. <laughs> That's good enough. I like it. I'll probably outline these petals in a black, is what I'm thinking anyway. Because I paint it right there. So it keeps smearing it everywhere. Alright. Good. All right, last three to go. Hmm, I'm tired. I'm gonna work on this difficult one right here. I know these on the edges, I find that these are more difficult. 
Well, the barbie doll no longer on the other side, so we can get on with him. I know, I just uh, want to do the background. I don't want to decide it yet. I may put the feet in a squeeze bottle too, like I'm doing around the petals, and then fill it in with a satchel, just like I'm doing here. So I may do it like that. Because then it comes out a little bit more even. Um, where is my bunch of these? It might come out a little bit more even um, with the look I'm going for. And if that doesn't work and it looks lumpy, then I may make it textured background. It all depends on how it looks at the end. Because I can always make it a textured background also, which would look really interesting. I'm thinking about, after I do background, I'm thinking about resining just the flower portion of this painting. So stay within, staying within the flower petals and just doing the flower petals where they will be shiny. So we'll see how that works. It might look pretty cool. This is a long video, I'm sure. I'll try to shorten it a little bit where, where I can. But it's not as long. All right, so I think I have enough white paint to make this paint move. The last time I filled it, it didn't move a lot, or as much as I would have liked. I actually have to go make that white paint, or the blue paint. So I'll put you on pause real quick while I go ahead and do that. All right, there we go, guys. Here is the final, well, not the final final, but so far. So I really do think I'm gonna need to put just a petal kind of right in here. Um, yeah, I might do that for sure, but look. I really think she's gonna come out gorgeous. I really think that you'll be able to like view just this panel like this, you know, just, it looks pretty cool. And then just this panel like this. But then when you put it all together, oh my goodness, yeah. This was a big painting, very big. So yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Sorry this is a long video, but I wanted to show you the process and, uh, and how cool it's really coming out. So stay tuned for the final results of this beautiful abstract flower. And don't forget, if, you, if there's anything that I've ever done that you like you can check it out on my website at tina's inspired art at uh well www.tinasinspiredart.com email me with any of your questions at tina's inspired art at gmail.com and check me out on facebook and instagram thanks again for joining me guys and have a wonderful weekend bye